From a hole in the ice to players scoring on themselves, these are the 20 weirdest moments in NHL history. Starting with the number one, the stadium was turned into a zoo. Let's rewind to 1988, when an unexpected star stole the show during an LA Kings versus Montreal Canadiens game. Check this. There's a foul deed to do at a hockey game. The puck was in the king zone. All of a sudden, from out of the stands, as the puck was against the right wing boards. An upset Kings fan, unhappy with the team's performance, takes a bold step by tossing a live chicken onto the ice at the Great Western Forum. I never thought I'd witness a live chicken casually hanging out on the ice during a game. Look at that poor chicken. Finally, finally, play stops. The live chicken on the ice that somebody threw out of the stands. It has a blue napkin on it. How did they even manage to bring it into the arena? This chicken is not the only animal that has been thrown on the ice. Let's move on to number two. Believe it or not, someone threw an octopus onto the ice during a game between the Boston Bruins and Detroit Red Wings in 2015. The island is coming into tonight. You know, they play against each other. The Islanders have an extra game. It's interesting. Now that was weird. But maybe not as weird as this sudden rat infestation. Yes, you heard it right. On to Mona number three. In sunny Florida, Panthers fans decided to make a statement by covering the ice with toy rodents. This is the Avalanche's first look at the rats. At least those were pretend rats. It will take a lot to top that, but somehow play number four is even weirder. The fans go wild as a flying animal, a bat, tries to find its way out before being chopped down by a player. Started dive bombing the player. Well, one of the guys smacked it and killed it. And then the flyer's Rick McLeish picked it up and dumped it. Is it hard to explain how a bat got into the arena? That's just crazy. But a tradition nobody wants to keep is having a black cat run across their ice surface. In moment number five, the cute feline can be seen scurrying off the bench and all the way down to the Zamboni doors. Now play number six. Okay, we've seen rats and an octopus, but guess what? Someone brought a catfish for a game. Can you believe it? I really hope they catch the person who did that. Tied up, not much on the shot. A catfish is thrown on the ice with the puck in play. I don't know about that. The massive, smelly, and heavy catfish has now become a tradition for the Nashville Predators to bring them luck. Of the catfish, but not while the puck's in play. Yeah. All right, let's shift away from animals and dive into some wild goals. Heading to number seven on the list. This one might surprise you. In a game between the Street Louis Blues and the Florida Panthers, something unusual occurred. For Bertuzzo shot goes off the referee, I think, then in the net, and the referee was in the corner. That's one of the weirdest goals you're gonna see. The referee, probably the unluckiest guy on earth, got hit right in the midsection by the puck, and it bounced into the net. Don't worry though, the referee was okay, and the goal was actually called off. Maybe not too surprising. Florida got lucky this time. Now let's check out play number eight, the moment when one mascot had enough of two lovebirds. Dude, why are you taking it out on your girlfriend? Nash, who is the mascot, now what is, look at this. He went high, an Oiler fan who said, hey, I'll share it with you, it's me. Moving on to number nine, the Calgary Flames mascot, Harvey the Hound, was on the prowl, stirring up trouble and found exactly what he was looking for. Usually, they say the cat gets your tongue, but not this time. Oilers coach Craig McTavish pulled off a clever prank by stealing the hound's tongue. Okay. Yeah. It's always exciting when players and coaches get in on the fun around the arena. Let's dive into the 10th weirdest moment, when the San Jose Sharks mascot was dropping down onto the ice before the opening faceoff, but somehow he got stuck during his descent. But right now, he's kind of stuck in, uh, well, not no man's land, no shark's land. Well, uh, yeah, he's like a fish out of water, and I guess that's what they mean by that saying. I think the pulley that he repels down on... Sharky wasn't the only one facing a tough descent. In moment number 11, Ty Domi had a run-in with a fan. Well, the second period, rough play here. Domi lays out Luke Richardson. Things got bizarre when the fan tried to jump the glass and ended up going head over the tea kettle gonna have to go into a, a little more of a training session before he gets into that oh brother it's never a good idea to fight with a hockey player after all they literally have deadly weapons strapped to their feet let's roll into number 12. the cameraman pointed his camera at the red wings bench during kiss cam moment 
Thankfully, Steve Eiserman stepped in to save the two players from the weird situation. Now check out this next weird moment, number 13. This clown in Quebec got a flurry of fists from Rob Ray. Some fan went right over the glass. Oh no, they oh, got dear. a hold of him in the bench. It's no fist oh, big. Oh, look at Rob Ray. Alrighty, let me just say this now. If you're a fan, just stay in your seat. People should never make their way onto the ice unless they're an emergency player or referee. Let's move on to play number 14. Magnus PV almost broke his back with the weirdest celebration ever. Looking to distribute the puck, throw it towards the net. Zach Smith does a really good job of keeping this play alive. He gets it out to Cody Cece for the one. PV swings out there and then comes the celebration. We won't be seeing that one on sports. I have no idea what Magnus was thinking. Let's check out play number 15. Journeyman Mike Smith attempts a poke check and miraculously. Christmas. Well, it's Christmas for one team. It's Bah Humbug for the other one. The, play is the puck pops up into the air and lands in his pants. A puck in the pants might not be the worst thing, but what's even worse? Nobody notices it. Smith slides back into position, unknowingly scoring on himself. Whoops, it's never a good feeling to score on yourself. Now I have no idea what the team in play number 16 was doing either. One second he's squaring up and the next. Now he comes back. Sorry, but we all saw what happened there. Bro wasn't ready to walk the walk, but this fan on the other hand was forced to cause. Back. Please. <laughs> Let's move on to number 17. Strange vibe hit the rink as some fans were spotted trying to shield their faces from the smoke. Playing hockey in a cloud of smoke sure wouldn't be easy. It would also be hard to play without a stick. No stick in play number 18. Jeff Skinner from the Buffalo Sabres showed us just how weird things can get when you attempt to play without a stick in your hand. Th now coming away to center is Skinner without a stick. Skinner. Thanks for the awkward demonstration, Jeff. Playing hockey without a stick is nearly impossible. That's hella weird. But that's not as weird as Keith Bowler, because one second he's defending his goalie, the next he's trying to murder him, stomps by, and is down. Oh my god, bro broke his teammates here. But that's not the weirdest interaction between teammates. During a power play, oh damn, bro gave him his full load. And there you have it, folks. The weirdest, wackiest moments in NHL history. From unexpected animals on the ice to peculiar player antics, the world of hockey has seen it all. Whether it's pucks landing in pants or mascots getting into mischief, these moments remind us that in the fast-paced world of hockey, anything can happen. Which play in NHL history do you think is the worst? Feel free to leave a comment below. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video. Until next time, keep your eyes on the ice and get ready for more unexpected twists in the game we all love. Stay weird, hockey fans.